There are growing calls from Democrats for an intelligence review in the wake of the FBI raid on former President Trump's Mar-a-Lago home. Today, Congressman Adam Schiff said that he and other leaders are still waiting for a response from intelligence officials to their request for a damage assessment. And this weekend, protesters, some of them armed, gathered outside of the FBI's Phoenix office as the DHS and FBI now warn about threats to law enforcement. Aaron Katerski will break it all down for us in just a moment. But first, here's ABC's Mary Alice Parks in Washington tonight. Tonight, Democratic lawmakers worried about the security implications of highly classified intelligence that have been sitting at Mar-a-Lago, asking the director of national intelligence for a damage assessment. Some of those documents were marked top secret, sensitive compartmented information. Uh, that is among the highest designation in terms of the, the extremely grave damage to national security that could be done if it were disclosed. The search warrant and accompanying documents made public by a federal judge showing FBI agents were looking for evidence of three potential crimes, including obstruction of justice and violations of the Espionage Act. Former President Trump has not been charged. The FBI Monday seizing 11 sets of classified documents from the former president's residence, including one set marked top secret SCI, a classification reserved for some of the nation's most sensitive intelligence. Immediately after the FBI executed that unprecedented search warrant, before the details were unsealed, many Republicans were quick to call foul, blasting the Department of Justice and law enforcement, accusing them of overreach and bias. This is Gestapo crap, and it will not stand. The FBI raid of President Trump is a complete abuse and overreach of its authority. Now, the FBI increasingly worried about threats aimed at law enforcement. Experts speculating the man who stormed an FBI building in Ohio last week could well have been motivated by the finger pointing. There is no doubt that what happened uh, at Mar-a-Lago this week, and really not the action itself of a search warrant being executed, but the way Trump framed it, the way Republican officials framed it, that was a trigger for him. And yesterday, a small group of Trump supporters gathered outside the FBI office in Phoenix, some of them armed. A handful of Republicans this week publicly criticizing members of their own party, calling for calm and patience. I think everybody needs to be calling for calm, everybody across the board, and everybody needs to respect our law enforcement, whether they be local, uh, state or federal. Maryland's Republican Governor Larry Hogan telling ABC's Jonathan Carl that he thought DOJ's move to unseal the warrant was a step in the right direction for transparency. Anytime you're uh, being investigated for espionage and obstruction of justice, uh, that's I don't I'm, that, that's very serious. I mean, especially if you happen to be a former president. I mean, this is yeah. uh, unprecededented. How could they do this? It's absolutely I mean, this is unprecedented. The DOJ seems to be in uncharted territory here. Mary Alice Parks joins us now. And Mary Alice, any word from Democrats about the timing on that damage assessment? And it sounds like Republicans also want their own briefing about what led to the search warrant. Lindsay, Chairman Adam Schiff said that he had not heard back on his request yet today, but that he was confident that the intelligence community would do a damage assessment about the ramifications of these documents seeming to be mishandled. And yet Republicans want more information from the Justice Department about why they sought this search warrant right now. Was there evidence that made this urgent? But it is unclear if the Justice Department will volunteer information like that. Lindsay. Mary Alice, thank you. Let's get straight to ABC senior investigative reporter Aaron Katursky for more on the search and the fallout. Aaron, what's the most concerning here in terms of national security? Lindsay, the point of classifying records is really to keep them from being seen by America's adversaries. And here there were documents of varying levels of classification, including some that were deemed so sensitive they're only meant to be viewed in a secure location. We know the FBI reviewed security camera footage from the former president's estate, and what they saw on that video may have raised concerns about who had access to this material that shouldn't have. And one more quick question before you go, Aaron. Where does the investigation go from here? There are multiple directions for this investigation, Lindsay. I think two of them that are pretty interesting from the intelligence community's point of view. They want to know whether any of the material removed from the White House and brought to former President Trump's house has been compromised in any way. And then the FBI is working to determine who removed it and whether that constituted a crime. Lindsay. Aaron, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.